Come on, pigeon, fly. Fly, fly. There we go. Add a dog. Good dog. Come on, cub. Good girl. Good girl. Good dog. Hey everybody, Ethan here with Standing Stone and we have Covey. Yes, this sweet little girl is here. And what we're gonna be doing in this video here is kind of showing you a two week progress report, if you will. Now, when dogs come in for training, we assume nothing. I had the opportunity to watch Covey, yes, hello, high fives and all, do a little introduction with dad here, but things change drastically as soon as owners, mom or dad or mom and dad, leave. I need her to be able to do all of these things for me. So as soon as Ron left, she struggled a little bit to settle in, which isn't that abnormal, and it's definitely not that abnormal for a little bit softer personality dog and a little bit older dog. She took a few days, and what we do in the beginning stages, um, we often refer to as tethering. So her training sessions in the very, very beginning stages look like this. She's clipped to a leash, and we basically ignore her. If I've got to come over here, she comes with me. If I come into this room, she comes with. We come out of the room. Everywhere I'm going, I'm not looking for leash manners. Um, I'm just looking for her to build confidence being attached to me. And this starts to build comfort really fast because she's not getting paid attention to, she's not being coddled, catered to, positively or negatively reinforced for her behavior. She's just learning, this is life. I gotta follow this guy around now. So we started her first few sessions um, utilizing her meals, which is exactly what we recommend that you do at home. And if you have an older dog, or you adopt an older dog, or something, then you're looking for where to start, we say start at the beginning, which is exactly what we did here with Covey. We did clicker training. So we charged the clicker, looks much like this. Now she's on a dog bed, that doesn't really matter. We can do it over here as well. Good. This builds a couple things. A, it's teaching her, yeah, she's gonna have to work here, but it builds a pretty good bond with you as trainer, or me in this case as trainer, because she goes, I come to this new place, it's different, none of the people are the same, but this is the guy that I get fed. I'm directly getting my food from this individual. Once we get settled in, in the first few days, then we move back to just regular feedings with her. Um, we feed twice a day at the kennel, and what we're looking for is just a dog that's ready and willing to work, then she can go back on a standard feeding schedule. Otherwise, in those first few days, every amount of food that she's eating comes directly from our hand. Then we can start working through, and we've done, um, we've started to work through a few of her obedience things. These are all things that she knew ahead of time. Sit, good. Kennel, good dog. Just doing fun little training sessions. This isn't new stuff that we've taught her, it's just essentially building rapport. Once we have a dog that's comfortable and confident and looks like this, then we're gonna start moving into dropping this leash and working through her collar conditioning. She came in knowing these things. Again, I don't assume, oh yeah, she's got this. Let's take her out for a run. We wanna make sure that she's comfortable with us because so you gotta think about the, the drastic amount of change this is for her. New place, new person, new environment, and if she gets spooked for some reason and bolts, you know, knock on everything in this room, I have never lost a dog, but it does happen to dog trainers, especially if they move too fast in those early stages of training. Good, we're gonna finish out these treats here, working on a little bit of recall. Hi, hi, hi. Good dog, yeah. Okay, now we're gonna go to vibrate. She says, I'm just gonna follow the guy with the treats. So here, vibrate's on, Covey here, good dog. Work through these beginning stages. These are all things, again, that she knew coming in. She's collar conditioned to recall. She knew some different obedience behaviors. Um, but now, showing this here, we've got a dog that's comfortable, comfortable with me, and ready to take outside. Now, what we're gonna be moving through in this progression, you're gonna watch her do positive pigeons and burning gun introduction, and then I'm gonna take her out in the field, 
pointing birds and launchers. Now, yes, if you watched that beginning video, you saw she's already pointing birds, but I want control over what the birds are doing. That's gonna help us to naturally steady her up a little bit. And then once we see more natural steadiness coming out, I'm actually gonna shoot a few birds over. No, we know she has some retrieving issues. We won't shoot a ton, but then once we're shooting birds, we're gonna pull her out and start woe training. That'll all be happening here in this first two weeks. You guys follow along and we'll keep you posted. All right, so this is gonna be Covey's positive pigeon drill. Now, with a typical dog, there's gonna be a few steps that it seems like we're, we're kind of skipping here. One of which I'm gonna do standalone recall sessions if this is the first time the dog's learned this, but again, Covey knows all of these things. I just need to make sure that she feels comfortable with me. So we'll do one rep here. Hey, Cub, had a girl vibrate. Good dog, that's perfect. Now we'll be able to incorporate multiple things into this. Now this positive pigeon drill builds a really good um, kind of foundation for working with uh, handler and dog. Good. We want her to stop and then she gets to chase the bird. We're using some verbiage, she's getting comfortable with me. Again, this is a, you know, kind of a, a bonding drill, if you will. It's fun, it's low pressure. Whoop, whoop. There we go, see something, whoa. Okay, little of that creeping that we know Ron's been having some issues with. Let's do one more here. It stopped out there, as soon as she turns, whoop. You see that intensity change, whoop. Whoa, okay, good dog. That's all we're gonna do for that. We know that we've got a good, uh, good establishment of She's willing to work with me. I can start to read her personality. She's cooperative. She's got pointing desire. Dogs that constantly are chasing and jumping at you with that pigeon in your hand, those are gonna be dogs that are gonna be harder to get to point birds. It's not gonna be the case with her. We can incorporate another recall here. Good dog. This is all just helping her feel comfortable and me feel comfortable. Good. Next thing we'll move into, and uh, we'll probably do it yet today because she's looking good, is that bird and gunfire introduction. Stay tuned. Now, you may be saying again, hey, uh, didn't you guys shoot birds over in that first video that you did? Yes, but daddy's not here, so I can't assume everything is going to be A-OK -okay without him. So what we're gonna do um, is just an evaluation again. I'm gonna toss these birds. We're gonna have some gunfire. We're gonna work through it. We're gonna have fun. Uh, this is gonna look a little different than what a typical first time gunfire introduction would for a little puppy, and that's because I've already seen firsthand she's been shot over. So all we're gonna do is make sure that we have appropriate timing and then evaluate. Do we see anything that seems abnormal or something that we need to pay attention to? We're gonna go ahead and lock wings on this first one. Good, hey. And ha, she says, I'm just gonna stand there. Intense though, which is awesome. So we're gonna do our first one without gunfire. Hey, okay. Give it a good toss. At a girl, at a girl, come on. Now retrieving is an issue for us, but We'll see what we can get here. Come on, cub, come on, cub. A little vibrate on the collar. Hey, 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 don't leave it, don't leave it. Come on, come on, come on. There you go, good dog. If we can start to build some of these good habits together, that's a good thing. That's a good thing. All right, now we're gonna lock these and let it a little flappy. We're gonna get some gunfire in here. Now, Covey, are you ready? Okay. Good, there we go. Absolutely nothing out of Miss Cub. Whoo, it's raining down on me. Good dog. All right, I think we fixed the retrieving too. <laughs> That's all that I need to see there. She's very bold, she's very confident, she's excited about those birds. And that says we are ready to move on here in her next training session to pointing pigeons and launchers. All right, everybody, we're here for Covey's now first run through the field with me. And what we're gonna be using today is DT Systems Electronic Launchers. The key to that aspect of things and the key to kind of helping um, properly work through the problem that she has, which is creeping in on birds and everything else is timing. We're using the electronic launchers because it gives me control over exactly when that bird comes up. And as long as I'm watching, I can help launch the birds when she's coming in contact with them, which is gonna set her up for success. We want these birds to act as wild-like as possible. The more wily, the more jumpy they are, the more cautious she's gonna to continue to get on the next bird as we progress through this. What we will be doing with these, I set these launchers up already so that you have um, a good crosswind that we'll be working her into, as well as the cover is a little bit lighter so that you guys will be able to see 
and I will be able to see exactly when she acknowledges sent. Now, what we will be starting with is the second I see her turn, because we're gonna run her at a crosswind, so the wind would be blowing this way, we will run her across it, boom, she's gonna turn to that, the bird's gonna come up. That's gonna be my um, desired timing. This reddish grass, I'm sure you can't see it exactly, it's about where I put that bird at. It's important to know exactly where you put it, so you're not guessing. It's gonna give us a better setup. All right, so she stopped here, but she's kind of looking around. I'm gonna go ahead and give it to her. That's right in line. She's in mid chase here. No attention to the gunfire. These are all really good things. All right, this next bird is, I think we set it just past this little cedar up here. Yeah, right up there, good. Again, I want to, chasing, good. Okay, so a couple things to think about here. Um, that one I let hold, her hold a little bit longer. It's again reading her. Um, she looked relaxed, she looked poised, she wasn't on edge, she was standing and doing a nice job doing that. So we wanna allow her to stand longer and longer periods of time. I switched over to launcher number three, and we're gonna actually have to tuck back into this taller grass a little bit here to get on the downwind side of the wind. Let's see, she should hit it. Nope, come on, this way, babe. Good dog. Should hit it right in there. There it is. Now this is ideal, because I've already broken the plane. I'm gonna try and take a baby step here. Easy now. She doesn't really know whoa, so we can't use that and expect her to understand. Good. See how subtle that movement was? She's good with guns. I like that. Um, very, very subtle movement there. Uh, and, I, and I really want to stress that. You know, people say, oh, now it's time to walk in. No, that movement like that was all me trying to help her to continue to be successful. I'm liking what I'm seeing. She's got a ton of potential here. Um, what we'll be moving into next with this amount of steadiness is actually. Um, <laughs> dang, she's pretty. What we'll be moving into next is shooting birds over here. Again, we're gonna utilize launchers so we have control over that, but then we'll actually be killing the birds. Stay tuned. All right, everybody, we're here for the final installment, if you will, of this two-week update. And we're coming to the end of the first two weeks here for Covey, and we kind of show the progression that we've been able to make with her feeling comfortable. And basically working through a lot of the things that she kind of came in knowing, but we're able to apply that pro handle to it and good timing to kind of improve on just in that short amount of time. What we've got set up today is another pigeon course. The birds are in slightly different locations, but this time they are kill pigeons, if you will. What we will be doing if she does everything right, I'll have the opportunity to actually shoot them and then we'll work those birds for her. If she makes a mistake, they will fly away and she won't get rewarded for them. But we'll be able to gauge, is she ready to move on? And if she's doing everything that I expect out of her, we should be ready to move right into, after this video, we'll move right into fixing her first problem, which was steadiness issues. Ready? Okay. So again, we're sending her off to hunt. Now, a lot of times we get the question about how often are you doing these sessions in the field? How many times are you going to the field in a week? Um, and this really varies depending on the dog. Prey drive, desire to work, things like that change. Um, I think if you see, as we've progressed through these different sessions, Covey's getting more and more comfortable. She's really taking to getting right out there and hunting right away. Um, we're starting to see a little more of the real Covey that uh, Ron gets to work with on a regular basis, I would guess. Again, if this is the first video that you're finding on our channel, um, to kind of give just a brief backstory on this specific dog that we are working through, she is a little bit older dog um, that needed to learn a few new tricks. Come on. She's owned by Ron Spomer. He has a YouTube channel and a blog and a podcast and all of the really cool things and hunting related stuff. So you guys should definitely check that out. There's links in the description.
The head looking around stuff, I don't believe that that's 100, well, maybe it is. She's more, okay. Let's see, I want some more. There, I like that better. I like that better, find it for me. There, you see that tail, difference, head, locked up, everything's solid. She was kind of getting some whiffs. Um, that says, I freaking got it, okay? That's reading your dog. Ah, so that pressure of me moving in got her to move in. I'm gonna help her to stand. Ah, we're gonna go ahead and put this one in the air. Come on, pigeon, fly, fly, fly. There we go. Add a dog. Good dog. <laughs> Come on, cub. Good girl. Good girl. Good dog. So that's some pretty good improvement as far as the retrieving goes. He was having issues where she wasn't picking him up at all and doing different things. Um, it's still not perfect and we will be fixing that as well. We're gonna do full, uh, full formal retrieving work, breaking that down from step A to Z so that when she gets done with uh, our program here, she will retrieve everything to hand. We're headed straight up this direction on this cast, what she's running right here. I bet she smacks it right there. Yeah, baby. That's what I'm talking about. Now, I've got to get a little closer. I want to be within gun range here, but I'm going to slow my roll, try not to pressure her. Look at that tail come up. Confidence, everything. Love it. Don't try your luck, Ethan. Get that bird out of here. Very nice. Had a girl. I'm gonna walk this way. Hey, 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 hey. Covey, Covey, Covey. And then kind of meet her. Good dog, right here. Covey here. Utilize and vibrate. We put quite a bit of emphasis on our collar conditioning here. Getting it back, that's a good thing. Guys, that's looking really good. We've got one more bird down over here. Right in here. She should be getting it. Very nice. Very nice. All right, Ethan. I'm on launcher three, ready to roll. We're trying to naturally build this steadiness by allowing her to stand longer. Try not to put too much pressure on her. Good dog. She's relaxed, poised, reward this. Good dog. Oh! Over top. No safe shot. Oh, it's gonna make a, might make a comeback around here. Oh, here we go, guys, ready? And no way, no way, no how. That's all right, not every bird gets killed. Gotta be able to learn the difference in those birds that are dying going down, birds that are flying back. Very, very good, I like it. This is uh, exactly what I was hoping to see. Come on over here, Cub. All right, stand over there, Cub. It's exactly what I was hoping to see. Um, this is kind of the end of our first two weeks update with her. She's doing an absolutely fantastic job. What we'll be moving into next is woe training. That will be an anywhere from three to five day process, all individual sessions. We're gonna video all of those, put them into one video and show you what it looks like to formally well train her and then put her back in the field. Thanks guys for watching. I'm the guy with the pink gun. This is Covey and we will both see you in our next video. Mm -hmm.